Welcome to a special Valentine's Day tutorial in which we use the holiday as a flimsy excuse to learn about that most romantic of forest pack features, uh, inverted fall off curves. We'll demonstrate how this feature can be used to scatter items around the edge of include and exclude areas, a technique we use to scatter the leaves around the text and the heart shape in this image. To illustrate how it works, we'll load a preset from the library. So go to the create panel, select forest pack and open the library browser. Pick a leaf preset and click OK. I use this one because, well, it seemed the most heart shaped. Select a spline area and leaves will be scattered inside that area. Go to the modify panel and open the areas rollout. Select the existing spline area and then scroll down because near the bottom of the rollout you'll find the fall off settings. Normally these are used to control the size and the density of items near the edges of an area. For example, by increasing the density include value, the number of leaves is reduced as they get closer to the spline. The amount the density is reduced is controlled by a fall off curve. The x axis represents the distance measured from the edge of the area and the y axis represents the density. But what if we want the opposite? What if we want dense leaves around the perimeter, gradually reducing to nothing towards the center of the area? Well that's where the invert curve button can help out. Simply by clicking this option, the fall off curve is inverted and leaves are now densest around the perimeter, reducing to nothing the further they fall from the edge, exactly as we wanted. Essentially the checkbox is inverting this graph. So for example, if you did want to retain some leaves throughout the area, you just need to lower the point on the left hand side of the graph a little bit. You can use this trick with exclude areas too. Just add a new spline area, pick a path from the scene and set it to exclude and then turn on invert curve. There's also a separate size control for exclude areas, so you can have different fall off length for include and exclude zones. And really, that's all there is to it. Simply add as many include and exclude areas as you need, making sure that you turn on invert curve for each one. You can even control the strength of the fall off effect on a per area basis using the fall off effect values. And although we're not using it here, the same technique can also be used for scale fall off too. We hope you found this tip useful. Stay tuned for more short tips, tutorials and tricks coming soon.